Hey team, welcome to this 30 day video challenge where I'm gonna release 30 games in 30 days. These games are games that you can play with your team at any time. Some of them include skills, some of them include conditioning, and honestly, some of them are just tag games that you can play with your team. So make sure you tune in every single day this month where I'm gonna release a new video with a brand new game. And before we get started, I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball, and this is the best place for baseball education. So let's get into this 30-day video challenge. I'm super excited to bring you these games. Let's get started. Hey team, welcome to day 20 of this 30 day challenge. And today's game is a tag game that you can play with your team. It's called Infection Tag. So there's not gonna be a huge diagram or anything. It's a really simple game that you can play. Uh, it's really fun for the younger kids just to do some conditioning at the end, get some running in. Uh, for ages, I would say the younger grades, like maybe five to eight or nine, the older grades probably not gonna have too much fun with it. Um, equipment, you're not gonna need any equipment. All you're gonna need is your team running around. Uh, where, I would say in the infield in this area right here um, and with all tag games I would just say to keep them contained um, keeping them contained is a good way to make it easier on the taggers just so they're not running everywhere and it's almost impossible to tag people and you don't want them to get completely exhausted without actually playing the game and tagging people so I would keep them contained in the infield when you play this game and how you play, it's really simple. It's you start with one tagger. So let's say that you have one tagger here and everybody else is going around and playing the game. They're all running around, running around. And then this person goes and tags this person, right? Now this person changes into a tagger. So they are infected or the infection tag part, right? So every person that is tagged, they turn into a tagger. So as the game goes on, there's gonna be less and less people who are not tagged. And if you are tagged, you turn into a tagger. And by the end of the game, everybody's gonna be a tagger. So it's also been called zombie tag if you wanna play zombie tag. But the whole concept of this game is that there's one tagger to start with. And as they are tagging people, those people turn into taggers. And then by the end of the game, everybody's gonna be a tagger. So as I said, this is infection tag or zombie tag, if you want to call it that. There's not really a lot of explanation to be done. You start with one tagger and as they tag, everybody starts being taggers and by the end, everyone's a tagger. So it's a great way to end a practice just to get some running in and some conditioning that's not just running around the bases that you do every day. So this is just another tag game that you can play with your team. I hope you enjoyed infection or zombie tag uh, for day 20. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for day 21. I'll see you there. So I hope you enjoyed today's game and I hope I explained it in a way that you understand and that you can explain it to your team so you can incorporate it into your practices. This is just another game that you can add to your practice plans to have some fun during your practices with your youth baseball team. Before you go, don't forget to grab your free two hour practice plan. I made it just for you to help you out in your practice plans. And in the description below, you'll also see a free baseball equipment sizing guide. There's how to get more playing time. There's how to do batting practice. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I made for you for free. Be sure to grab it before you go it's all down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, this is Building Better Baseball. I'm Coach Hart, and I'll see you next time.